Hi everyone, so um, this is one other update for Logan, uh, the Wolverine 3, the final Wolverine movie. Uh, we have some actual story updates that came out recently today. This has been covered by The Wrap. That now, not all of this is confirmed, but uh, a couple things are confirmed. Now I'll uh, touch on the things that are confirmed. You should also note that New York Comic Con is currently going on. We've got a teaser for the actual trailer for John Wick 2, or Chapter 2, John Wick Chapter 2. I didn't do a review on that because I ch I clicked on it to check the actual teaser. It was literally like a 17-second clip, so I'm not going to bother doing a reaction video of that. Uh, but, but with New York Comic Con going on, uh, more than likely we're getting John Wick 2. In fact, they said it's going to debut at New York Comic Con. More than likely it'll be up online a little later than that. After that, probably going to actually get Wolverine uh, Logan trailer for that. Probably going to get a bunch of stuff. So uh, I'm going to be keeping my eyes out online for those. But uh, yeah, we're talking about uh, Logan again today, and we got an idea of what the story could be like with uh, that page of the script, plus the name Logan and the poster we got. But now we actually got some um, uh, actual details coming. So uh, basically, as I'm, I'm going to read this kind of verbatim, I'm going to paraphrase a little bit, but long before the poster dropped, there had been rumors that the young mutant X-23, uh, Laura Kinney, was going to be a part of the story. And Hugh Jackman was seen on set with an unidentified young girl. Now, they would not confirm or deny it was X-23. The rap sources do confirm that the girl whose hand Logan is holding is a young mutant, but they would not specify where it was X-23 or someone else. However, they do confirm that the movie set takes place in 2024, and the story is much darker than any of the previous X-Men movies, Wolverine movies, or X-Men movies, which... Even Deadpool, despite being R-rated, actually wasn't that dark. I mean, it had dark moments, but it wasn't... Um, it was actually pretty lighthearted and fun for most in an R-rated blow your bad guy away sense. Um, but 2024. Now, given the actual timeline of the X-Men movies, that actually would make some sense um, for like a future. Uh, they also there were also kinds of the old man Logan or the old man Logan is in full effect. Essentially, Lo with Logan growing sick, causing his heal powers to fade, which I'm not quite certain. That's exactly what's going to happen. I think it might be the vice versa. Logan's growing sick because his powers are fading, not he's losing his powers because he's getting sick. Unless that's the case and there's maybe some story element for that. But somehow I, I think it's just age catching up with him finally. and Because he's over... In the continuity, I mean, in general X-Men continuity, he's over like 200 years old. But in the continuity of the movie series, um, the actually you movie universe, he's... Uh, he was born in the 1800s. He's probably somewhere in the 150 to 170 range, uh, but still. And some, and apparently sometimes his, uh, he doesn't even fully heal from his injuries. So yeah, that that does go, that does fall in line a bit with um, Old Man Logan to a degree that his healing factor isn't what it used to be. Uh, but it also falls a little bit with, um, I can't remember the actual uh, name of the story, basically uh, Wolver the death of Wolverine a little bit, where his healing factor eventually just um, uh, was uh, burnt out by uh, micro-aliens um, from a microverse, and uh, he couldn't heal anymore, which eventually led to the actual death of Wolverine. Uh, then apparently the script page from James Mag reveals that you know he's turned to booze and painkillers to ease the pain. Uh, he's off scene drinking. For work, Logan landed, has landed the job driving a Chrysler 300 limousine, which explains the limousine scenes seen in earlier set photos with the bullets. And yeah, I actually remember Lo Wolf, uh, Logan uh, in certain set photos wearing like a black suit and um, in a city. So I, that would actually make sense. As for the mutant child, she ends uh, she ends up being taken under Logan's wing. The reports claim that in the year 2024, mutant births have gone down drastically. Now that is again falling in line with um, Old Man Logan, where at one point they meet Black Bolt and Emma Frost, who uh, basically gave them refuge to some of the remaining mutants. And they say that uh, we were just an evolutionary blip, basically. Uh, now, that being said, mutants are no longer born, period, But in Old Man Logan. But in this one, it's just it's decreased drastically. It's not like they don't happen, but it's not like being one out of a hundred. It's not like one in probably like a thousand to ten thousand. Um, and apparently there, there is a reportedly a government type program called Transiege, which is turning mutant children into killing machines. 
I'm guessing that's kind of <laughs> Trans Siege, a subsidiary of Essex Corp. Uh, I'm guessing. Um, apparently, the girl Logan mentors is said to have two adamantium claws instead of three. The reports also reveal the previous uh, uh, mysterious character of a supporting cast member. Gee, now, look. They wouldn't confirm whether the kid was X-23 or not. They wouldn't even say that. Like, yeah, the young girl's a mutant. We're not confirming if he's X-23 or not. But we're going to tell you she's got two adamantium claws in her hand. Like X-23. <laughs> Look, now this is an, uh, none of this is 100% confirmed. The rap's only like, reporting on some of this. But yeah, we all pretty much assumed X-23 was getting involved. Here. You take Wolverine's blood, you have Exus, uh, Essex Corp. You've got old man, a version of Old Man Logan. X-23 is a fan favorite. Uh, he's here to see a young girls being cast. Yeah, he kind of makes sense. Uh, then, but no, yeah, the mysterious character of a supporting or, or cast member is Stephen Merchant is reporting is reportedly playing an older Caliban. Uh, now, for those of you who don't remember Caliban, Caliban is a mutant who's able to actually locate other mutants. And he was actually in X-Men Apocalypse. He was uh, talking to Mystique, helping Mystique find mutants. Uh, to save, and Apocalypse then came, and Psylocke was there with him. Yeah, he was in there. So he's apparently playing an older one that helps Logan take care of an ailing Professor X, who's not dead in this universe, whose powers have become unstable, and there are times where the Professor doesn't even remember who Logan is. So that's basically all we have. But that is, so first off, I I, th I still prefer my idea of him being like a Spectre who haunts Wolverine. But, um... Uh... The idea that pretty much Professor X has this dementia, a level of dementia, and because being, you know, the one of the world's, if not the world's most powerful psychic, well, is not good to have dementia with, uh, yeah, there's, that's an interesting take on things. Now, does he make it out of this? I could guarantee he's not going to make it out of it. Uh, I could probably guarantee uh, Professor X is going to be dead by the end of this movie. Um... But overall, I'm really interested to see the actual trailer for this movie. I'm really looking forward to seeing more of this movie. If it's going to be the last one, go out on a bang. Go out on an R-rated, hardcore, violent, swearing, booze-riddled... I don't, honestly, I don't think you need nudity in this movie. I don't think this movie calls for nudity. But just go out on a... Go out on a high note. Yep. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Last night, we'll do a review of it at some point. And sorry, I'm not trying to give you a finger. I'm just, I got a, something in my eye. Um, so uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll have a uh, magic video, a Star Wars video, and Girl on a Train will be the uh, movie I'm seeing tomorrow. So I'll review for that later up in the evening. Uh, and should anything pop online which, uh, for me to talk about, I will talk about that as well. So thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed, and I will see you folks next time.